Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, how they view you or this connection? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And we'll also look at what they wish they could tell you. Okay, so let's jump into the reading, Libra. Okay, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Libra regarding the person they are in a connection with or thinking about at this time. What does Libra need to know about this person's energies towards them, towards the connection? Spirit, what can you tell us about this person's energies towards Libra or this connection? With this? Oh, I'm afraid. Okay. This is from my Secret Moon Oracle deck. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box. What else for Libra? What are their energies towards Libra? So tell us more about Libra's person. What are they thinking, feeling about Libra? destiny will help us find each other so you're not with this person yep the path i am on is leading me straight to you that's what i'm getting you and this person are not together um there's a separation between you and spirit could be involved here or might need to be involved i mean i feel like this is someone being guided towards you or vice versa tell me more for libra What are their energies towards Libra? What are their energies towards Libra? The shark. Okay, so there's tension here or something that needs to be addressed that hasn't been addressed. Um, someone knows they should be dealing with something, addressing something, and they aren't. What else do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person and their intentions, energies, thoughts, feelings towards Libra? What do we need to know about this person? The timing just wasn't right for us. Sorry if I keep hitting the tripod. I'm, I have it kind of positioned in a weird angle here. Bottom of the deck, we need to let each other go. So it just wasn't the right time for both of you and this person, Libra. Maybe... Um, Something happened that caused you to let go of each other here. Let's see what else we can get for you. Let's take items, please, regarding this person's connection. Let's believe what we need to know. Towards Libra, towards Libra, what we need to know. All right, so their energies, thoughts, feelings, two of swords, nine of wands, two of pentacles. So they're unsure uh, with the two of, set of swords and two of pentacles back and forth energy. I think this person, um, they think that um, you don't trust them or you be resistant towards them, guarded towards them because I have the Nine of Wands here. So I almost feel like this is how they view you, Libra. I'm also getting the this, this sense of, you know, the longer they wait, the worse this gets. The It's almost like they, they can't get out of this undecided mindset, you know, or energy. What are their intentions and or next actions? Okay, the Magician, Nine of Swords, yep, this is the problem, King of Swords, this is the problem, they're afraid. Fear is a problem here, this person's scared. Um, and I feel like they know what they wanna do, but they're scared. What do you need to know, any hidden factors here? The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Six of Swords, okay. And the Ace of Swords, so I feel like this is something, um, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is, you know, 
very simple reading when you really look at it. Um, this person could already be in some sort of a commitment with the higher font. Um, maybe they are in a situation where they're really focused on what others might think about them or expectations that others might have um, on them. Page of Cups behind that. So that could be one of those situations because the Hierophant is a card about conforming to what's expected of you. Um, pressures from society, um, doing what is right, morals, values, tradition, right? And, you know, it's also a card about contracts. Uh, so that's why a lot of the times we think about it in terms of marriage, you know, something long term, something uh, official. So this person could already be in something like that. And then with the Six of Swords, you know, maybe they need to leave this behind. Maybe they need to make some sort of move in their life. This Ace of Swords is very interesting. I, I'm going to need to clarify it because I keep getting um, like drawn to it, I guess I should say. Especially because the King of Swords is right next to it. So it's almost like there's something here with clarity, truth, information. And I feel like that's that shark energy. Like something that needs to be addressed. Clarity that needs to be had. Um, someone that needs to be honest with themselves. Something like that. So let's see, why the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles? Why the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles? And make no mistake, this is somebody that wants something new. Because the Ace of Wands is here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is someone's true um, goal or true desire. Why the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles? Five of Wands. So this person is probably thinking that there will be a fight, a conflict. Maybe there was a fight or a conflict between you in the past. Maybe things didn't end well with this person. Tell me about the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. And I feel like because of that, they keep going back and forth and they have fear here. Yeah, Seven of Swords. So interesting. With the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups, I feel like this person shouldn't be um, having these doubts about you or even thinking about you at all. I think they know if they were to make this decision, it's going to cause problems elsewhere. Like I'm, I'm picturing like family drama, drama overall. Maybe this person lied to you or cheated on you in the past and now they're scared to come forward. But I think it's more in the present time. Like this person knows that if they were to go after their wish fulfillment here, it will cause problems somewhere else. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Five of Swords. Yeah, this person is stuck um, because I feel like they would have to be uh, this five of swords seven of swords energy and the five of wands energy it's almost like they would have to screw something up they have now or or cause conflict where they're at now for others of you this could be somebody that's afraid of commitment maybe they know that deep down they can't commit to somebody but i think it's for a lot of you it's the first one tell me about this king of swords Tell me about this King of Swords. Ace of Swords, yep. I'm telling you, these two were related. The King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. There's a reason why I was feeling that. There's something this they need to tell you. There's something they need to address with you. And I feel like this is very important. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Tell me more about the King of Swords spirit. Why is the King of Swords here? The lovers, Gemini energy. So you need to talk about the partnership here, a union. They need to tell you something. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, the magician. I think they want to tell you like what they want with you, but they're afraid because it's not so easy as just telling you this. I feel like they would have to actually walk away from someone with that Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What can you tell me about the Six of Swords? 
Eight of Wands. Can you tell me about this Six of Swords? Nine of Cups. Yeah, they would have to move, move, take action here to go after what they truly want. But I also am picking up that this would be selfish. Like in their mind, if they were to move, um, move forward after to go after their own happiness, it would be kind of like self selfish in a way, where they would only be thinking of themselves. Ten of Wands, yeah. They would have to drop a bird in here. Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Swords, definitely. It would be a brutal ending. <laughs> it would be a difficult ending for them. Maybe they have to walk away from... another person. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. I feel like this person is just too scared to approach you. To tell you what... And you know, and honestly, even if they were to tell you, Libra... Yeah, this is about expressing themselves. Even if they were to tell you how they felt, that would just be the beginning here. Because there's something else that would need to be addressed. Can I get one more for the Ace of Swords? Can I get one more, please? For the Ace of Swords. The Hangman, yep. This person goes back and forth, yep. And then there's the world. This person goes back and forth between, you know... Yeah, there's the cherry at the bottom of the deck. And then the Three of Cups, exactly. So, okay, let me go back here. This person goes back and forth between, you know, should I tell them that? Should I not tell them that? Because they're thinking that this would have to then you know, realistically, it would have to lead to ending a cycle to begin a new one, right? They would have to make some sort of a move here with the chariot. So it's not just telling Libra how I feel, it's everything that will come out of that. Because I have a feeling that Libra, you might tell this person, well, it's great that you're telling me this, nice hearing from you but I'm not going to be involved with someone in another situation for example right maybe this person already expects you to say that and so they're thinking I, I can't open my mouth because then I have to actually follow through and I think a lot of you are dealing with someone that's already in another commitment and you know the timing just isn't right right now but i also feel like something wasn't right in the past either so you know i feel for you libra if you're in this situation this this cannot be easy you know and this person does want to manifest just want to make this happen but again they go back and forth you know it's like one day i'm going to tell libra how i feel and the next day is like that's probably not a good idea i shouldn't do that because then I'm going to have to hurt someone else or do something I, I shouldn't be doing right now. Can I get one more for this? Uh, can I get one for the magician, please? Why is the magician here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, for them to go after what they want, and there's the Wheel of Fortune, for them to go after this opportunity that will probably make them really happy, they're going to have to have some sort of a loss or affect someone else. Look at all these fives. Five of swords, five of pentacles, five of wands. It's not so easy. There's challenges here, obstacles here. There is other people involved. But I think when it comes to like how they feel about you, they wish they could start over. They wish they could have a new beginning. Ace of swords, ace of wands, the world. I mean, it's very clear. They wish they could come forward with how they feel. That's clear as day here, but they're afraid. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, uh, please consider liking the video, subscribing to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for all of your support. And um, I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.